Well, I'm asking you to choose life today. I'm asking you to choose life today. Look at this. Uh, Philippians chapter 1, 23 and 25. For I am in straight between two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. And having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your furtherance and joy of faith. Philippians 1, 23, 25. I know what Paul's talking about. You know, I, I sat in times in my life and I just decided, well, you know what? I need to stay here for them. I done did everything I wanted to do and, and I'm ready to go to heaven. I'm ready to get out of here. And it's because of people. It's because of the world changes nation. You don't have to be sick to leave. You can just get out of here. But Paul said he chose life. He said it was to the benefit of, of what he carried on the inside of him. See, each of you have something on the inside of you that's going to benefit somebody else. It can't just be about you. It's got to be about what God's put in you and the assignment that you have to minister to somebody else. Man, there have been many days I had to really grab hold of myself. I'm thinking, I want to get out of here. I want to stay here not another minute. I want to be with the Lord. And man, I'm telling you, God had to deal with me about that. This is not about, you know, you can get selfish with that. There's so much need to be done. So many people that need to be saved. So many lives that need to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. And bless God, we're going to do it. I didn't, I didn't say me. I say, we're going to do it. I can't preach this gospel by myself. It's going to take all of you guys to come together and decide we are going to fulfill the assignment that God has put on our lives. Say this out loud with me, Lord. I want to run my way, my race victoriously all the way to the finish line. I don't want to quit, give up, or die until I can say I finished everything you have ever assigned for me to do. Forgive me for allowing thoughts of death to dominate me. I have too much living left to do in my life to dwell on these kind of self-defeating thoughts. Please help me shove aside my exhaustion and grab hold to your power and press forward to do what you have called me to do with my life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.